call fire! Woo! I want to read you something. It's called. It's come. It's from Queers Read This, which was written by Anonymous and was distributed in June 1990 at Pride. Being queer is not about a right to privacy. It is about a freedom to be public, to be just who we are. That's right. It means every day fighting oppression, homophobia, racism, misogyny, the bigotry of religious hypocrites, and our own self-hatred. And now, of course, it means fighting a virus as well, and all of those homo-haters who are using AIDS to wipe us off the face of the earth. Being queer means leading a different sort of life. It's not about the mainstream, profit margins, patriotism, patriarchy, or being assimilated. It's not about executive directors, privilege, and elitism. It's about being on the margins, defining ourselves. It's about gender fuck and secrets, what's beneath the belt and deep inside the heart. It's about the night. Being queer is grassroots because we know that every one of us, every body, every cunt, every heart and ass and dick is a world of infinite possibility. We are an army. We are an army because we have to be. We are an army because we are so powerful. And we are an army of lovers because it is we who know what love is, desire, and lust too. We invented them. We come out of the closet, face the rejection of society, face firing squads, just to love each other. Every time we fuck, we win. We must fight for ourselves. No one else is going to do it. And if the process, we bring greater freedom to the world at large, then great. Let's make every space a lesbian and gay space. Every street a part of our sexual geography. A city of yearning and then total satisfaction. A city and a country where we can be safe and free and more. We must look at our lives and see what's best in them. See what is queer and what is straight and let that straight chap fall away. Remember, there is so, so little time. And I want to be a lover of each and every one of you. An army of lovers cannot lose. And so I ask you to join with me in calling the South, in calling the element of fire, and invoking Hephaestus, Vulcan, Hermes, Bridget, Hestia, Agni, Pele, but most of all, invo invoking the deity in all of us. Invoking the fire in our, in our bodies that fuels us and moves us. Invoking the fire in our hearts that is our lust and our passion. Invoking the fire in our minds that is the will to do what we need to do as an army of lovers. Join me, three words. Hail, welcome, fire! Hail!